Ah, the sound of the grandfather clock behind me is so peaceful. Get up! Oh, I was having a good nap. Yeah, you say you're having a good nap. I'm not gonna let you enjoy that nap. You gotta go. All right, fine. Oh God, no! Don't do it like that, Luigi in the cage. Oh God, that's gonna be bad. Fuck you, Luigi. Well, here we go. Welcome to this weird level, TikTok clock. Let's see what it has to say. Do the touchscreen, it's easy to walk or run. God damn it. And welcome back, everybody, to more of Let's Play Super Mario 64 DS. This is your host, DMJ406. And welcome to some people's least favorite level of the game, TikTok Clock. The way you enter will change the way this level works. I enter with the minute hand on the six, which, well, sets the speed to random. Basically, random speed, well, the way it is, all these obstacles move at particular speeds. Based on the position you go on the clock. You have the minute hand on the six, everything will move at a random pace. Ranging from stopped, slow, and fast. And they randomly change as the level goes on. They're entirely random. It can also be so fast that it's like instantaneous with some things, so you have to be very careful with how you go about this level. And some things even move in reverse, so... Ah! No! You moron! Just thought I'd show that off once, because you never want to enter the clock right that, like that. Ever. Never ever enter the clock like that. You do not want that, believe me. So, let's go to the standard. Enter when the clock's on the three, with the big hands on the three, and you get a nice slow paced joint. Probably the most recommended way to go for most stars in this level, although not for me personally, but I can see why you'd take that. I also like the touch you have of seeing the hours on the uh, sides of the clock. As if you're going around the actual clock face itself. The inner workings of a clock, you know? It's crazy. I think this whole level is basically like the inner workings of a clock. I really like it. But yeah, if you need to get up high, this is the speed you want to set the uh, clock for. However, later I'll show you guys how crazy uh, my method is. Because I don't give a shit. That could have crushed me, you know. Ah, they made this a little easier to navigate. Thank goodness. Well, oh yeah, careful with this mission, by the way. So, yeah, you notice the mission here. It's called Luigi the Cage. The way you want to do this one. Get Luigi and fall through carefully. Make sure you run towards the wall, because if you don't, you will fall and die. Be careful about that. Well, you might not die, but you'll fall and it'll suck. So be careful about that. Normally, you just had to run into the cage along a treadmill without having to become invisible to do that, but, well, they wanted to add some Luigi madness. All right, let's do nine now. Let me show the difference on this one. By the way, hit any of the other miscellaneous hours that aren't the main, uh... Oh, the Pendulum Switch star, son of a bitch. I thought it was going to be the one on the arrow. Damn it. I thought it was be the one on Give Me a Hand or something like that, whatever it's called. Anyway, 9 is fast speed. If you want to quickly go your way through a level, 9's a good one to go with. Because, well, things move, they're generally fastest on 9. Just remember, 6 is the one you don't want. Because, well... Whoa! Woo! Six's random speed is more for entertainment rather than actually going to the level. It's like a punishment. A fun one, but a punishment nonetheless. So, this star was just sitting here normally in the Nintendo 64 version, but they decided, why not make it a Switch star now, since we have that capability, apparently. Not hard to get either way, but still. At least it's still very easy to pull off, thankfully. I can appreciate that. So, yay. 
And I think I'm... Oh, crap. You know, I'm gonna go nine again. I think I know what the next one is. It's gonna ask me for... Get a hand! That's the one! That's the one I meant. Give me, get a hand, not give me a hand. I'll say this, though. The next one I'm gonna show you is the 12, and that's my personal favorite, and probably the favorite of a lot of people that... Go, ow! Like difficult platforming in their lives. They added extra ground around here, by the way, so it's harder for you to fall. I think there's another reason for that, but we'll get to that at the end of the level. Oh, the end of the level. The last mission of this whole stage sucks. It's freaking RNG, pretty much. At least it feels that way. Now, let's ride. See how fast you can move this quickly. On six, it goes all over the place. On three, it moves like this, but much more slowly. Ow. And, well, I'll show you what it's like on 12, which is my favorite minute hand position to go for. Probably a lot of people's as well. Because it's easy to get stuff done. So, let me show you. Use the little spin dash maneuver, as I'll call it for some reason, the mock dash, to time your dash in there. Stop on Thwomp. Is a Thwomp in here? We'll find out. Run in with a position on the 12. Time will freeze. So, yep. With this position, you can stop time altogether. So, no platforms move. If you can't tell by this red coin situation, you will need to know this position at some point. But that's the only way to get to these. Well, you'd always fall on these from above, but I would not recommend it. That's why I'm very crazy. This level could basically be constructed by like an act. It's like the actual construction of a clock, or it could be. A lot of clock themed items. Wouldn't it be crazy if this was like an actual clock? Like, if people actually, like, constructed this level into a clock, and it was, like, the way an actual clock worked? That would be so cool. If they actually thought that far ahead were geniuses about it? Yo. I mean, I know that's not the case, but imagine if it was. So I constructed this, and it actually worked as an actual clock? With these innards? Dude. It's basically the first idea of, like, a 3D Mario game's, like, rhythm level. Somewhat. It's all more about timing rather than rhythm, but, you know. Things move based on timing. 3D Mario games start taking advantage of that later on. In particular, 3D Land and 3D World. Oh, especially 3D World. Oh. 3D World, it's timing blocks. You can go to hell. By the way, these heave hoes, they do have one weakness. If they move for a while, they gotta stop moving and wind up again. So try to circle around them for a while to avoid them, and they'll eventually run out of gas and have to wind up again. Just a warning, though. Just a warning. You can't kill them, so don't try. You're better off just ignoring the heave hose. You're not trying to get flung around. All right, good. I should be able to get the 100 coin star, no problem. Huh. Where, why did they show me two stars? Where's that other one? All the way on the outside. Oh, I reveal the eight red coins, that's why. Ah! I hate this, though. This is the only hard part about stopping the clock and trying to climb up. As well. Yeah, good luck trying to climb up this easily with time stopped. You most likely need a triple jump to get up here. So, practice that if you need to. Just a nice fair warning for you. Oh yeah, there's one in there too. I'll keep that in mind for the future as well. As long as you know how to triple jump well enough, you can get up here no problem though, so. I really wouldn't worry about it. Now let's go get that 100 coin star, shall we? It's right up here. There's a Wario hat, we'll need that for the future, but not now, thankfully. So, let me just get up here. Claim my star! I always do this with Stomp on Thwomp because this is the only mission you have to go to the very top of the clock for. I love this level. A lot of people hate this level. I love it. Oh, this level's so fun. Yeah, the position of all the clock things get annoying, but otherwise... 
This is why I always stop time, so I never have to worry about that problem. It's always fun otherwise. It's a nice, fun little jaunt through a timely hell. Boo! Wow. Even I'm upset at myself for that joke. Could have come up with a better time pun than that. However, with time stopped, you can actually get the star much more easily in the DS version thanks to this. There was never this kind of block up here before. Actually, you can do this with time to stop now. It was much more awkward to get up to here in the in the regular Nintendo 64 version because they had it in a weird... They had the flop in a weird square room where they could very about lead to them. There was a lot of open space around them, so it was easy to fall. So you'd feel like you'd have to climb back up in order to actually stand a chance to get that star, if you fell. It's a royal pain in the ass it is. But otherwise, good stuff. Time jumps are moving bars, you say? Time jumps are moving bars, huh? I'll show you, you don't need to do timing at all. You just need to be good. I believe it's the Wario one. Which I think the difference for this level in Nintendo 64 for this star, all they did was add a Wario block to break down. A black block that Wario needs to break down. That's the only difference. That was weird! <laughs> oh, he just fell. He was like, well! God, he took that like a fucking champ. He was like, no worries! I got it! Damn! Who are you trying to impress with that kind of leg strength? Impress people? What are you talking about? Ow! You know what? Never mind. Just keep going. Alright. And... Ah. Uh, I wish this would work, but... Well... Grabbing on the ledges using the black flip is a little awkward. It doesn't always work. But when it does... It works well. So you can just do a backflip with Mario or Luigi to get up here, no problem. Alright, I need I need Wario, hang on. That's why I put these hats up here. You need them in specific spots. Thank goodness they did. Ah, I hit the ceiling! Jeez, Lakukitu, what the hell are you doing? Just the camera right, you moron! God, I knew I should have killed you back in the mirror room when I had the chance! Don't worry about it. Just keep going. Why are the time jumps are moving bars? You can just do this. Besides, stop time makes it much easier anyway. Like, seriously. Why would you not stop time for most of the stars in this? The get a hand is the one I could say you definitely want time moving for. As long as it's not on the six for the uh, minute hand. Otherwise, do 12 for everything. It makes it the easiest to climb up without having to worry about moving platforms kicking you off. Also, I'll say this before I forget to say it again. If you... Oh, wow. Where are the red coins? I wonder. It's like they're all here. Besides. There's really... It's just so much easier this way. Why would you feel better with things moving? Get a hand, I can understand. Because you... It's much easier that way. You could fall anywhere from above, but the hand is definitely the easiest way to do it. Otherwise... Also, why would you want to do six? Before I forget, let me just say one thing. If you get the minute hand on a position that's not three, six, nine, or twelve, they will magnetize to whatever the closest side is they're on, being either left or right. So if it's like eleven, it'll magnetize to nine. If it's at two, it'll magnetize to three. If it's five, it'll magnetize to three. It won't automatically go to six or twelve, is basically what I'm saying. They have to be pretty much on that hand for you to do that. Whoops. So, here comes this annoying fucking star. Tick-tock silver stars. Look at the touchscreen and notice something. Does it look like they're hopping around? That's because they are. Yeah, they randomly hop around the level and come down here. If they fall down the pit, they go back to their spawning point and start the hopping thing all over again. This mission is annoying as hell. Although, it's the luckiest I've ever been with it, so never mind. You still have to climb all the way up here to get the star, though. So, yeah. How do you like that? 
RNG Silver Star Droppings. This is, of course, the added mission for this level. Silver Stars. Because why wouldn't it be? God, this level's a dick. By the way, at least it's done. As soon as I get up there, it's done. See? This level's actually really easy once you realize how the clock thing works. I say as I take a big, stupid collapse to the ground. Oh, that's a glitch. I see. If you do a jump kick and then take a long fall, he doesn't have an actual, like, fall stun. He just... He just gets back up immediately. He's just like, alright, keep running as if nothing happened. Ow, my legs are broken. <laughs> I think I broke my leg! My leg! My leg! You're fine. Nah! God, this game is also very finicky and glitchy. I keep forgetting about that. But that's fine. I like a bit of finickiness and glitchiness in my games. Really? Somewhat? Ow! That's you get for lying under your teeth! That's you get for lying again! What did I do to lie the second time? I don't know. I just know you lied to me. Gee. Ah! Ow! I gotta stop doing that. Man, if only it was like the Nintendo... I will say this about this version being harder. The Nintendo 64 version had a lot more hearts lying around. A lot of those spinning hearts to run into to collect more health back. This game did away with a lot of those. So you pretty much gotta go in your own skill a lot of times without taking a lot of damage. The extra coins make up for it, though. So always remember that. You have extra coins, you really need health desperately. Never forget that. You can survive if you try hard enough. And there we go, it's all stars of that level. So, I could start the next stage, but there's something else I'd rather do right now. And that's going here. Because, ooh, it's flight time. Walk to one of the more annoying special stages of Peach's Castle. We have this big sky level over the rainbows. This level can be a little crazy. Follow the rainbows and you can see where you need to go. Hi, I'll bring the cannon for you. Hey, you mind if you hide these drugs for me? Nope, I'm not doing it. Oh, come on, man. I don't know where to put these drugs. They're going to find me out, man. Sorry, that's your problem, not mine. It'll be your problem soon. What did you think? Ow! And you get, bitch. You'll need these cannons, by the way. There's one set of cannons you want in the game, it's this one. Because trying to do this this level with, do the this level without it is bad. Also, if you fall, guess what? Womp womp. You end up here. What the So I have to go all the way back up? Yep. Yep, that's right. What the hell? Also, what's in there? We'll get to that. We'll get to what's in there, Mario, eventually. Just keep your pants on. I'm not wearing pants, I'm wearing overalls. You know what I meant! Underwear, got it! God damn it, Mario. Oh man, kick it up there! I already tried that, it's not gonna work. Damn it. Now I feel, now I somehow feel spoiled by the glitches of the Nintendo 64 version of this game. How? I don't know. By the way, here we go again. So, yep, if you fall, you don't die, but you get kicked out of the castle, you basically gotta climb your way back up. Sorry, Mario, but your power stars are in the castle! You motherfucker! Oh, God, thankfully not one of them does that. They seem to add some jokes in this game, or quote-unquote jokes. Like, I love getting captured! This is madness! I should be captured more often! <laughs> Fucking asshole toad. It's things like this that make me like being captured. Mm. There are coins all over those two clouds. Go find the bitch. So yeah, there's a lot of uh, red coins up high. Use your cannon launches to get up high so you can grab these coins more easily. Huh, I didn't need the wing cap for that one, maybe. Just make sure whatever you do, you have the wing cap on at all times up here. Otherwise, 
You will fall. Probably. I don't think anybody could do this stage without needing the wing cap uh, as well. It's freaking essential to doing most of this. Oh, yeah. They did make this one a little easier, however. In the Nintendo 64 version, they had one of those red coins in the transparent cloud up there. They got rid of that, thankfully, because that was a dickish one to get in the original game. Oh. The transparent one, the transparent cloud one was always a giant pain in the ass. Oh, and if it wasn't obvious, I should probably mention it now. There's no 100 coin star for anywhere in Peach's castle. Thank God. That would be painful if there was. Oh, God. Uh, to get higher, son of a bitch. All right, let me try again. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on! Woo! At least you made it in just fine, Mario. Where's the... Ah, where's the... There it is. There we go. Just know how to fly in this level for the love of God. If you don't have the wing cap at this level, you're fucked. If you don't know how to fly at the wing cap at all, you're fucked. There we go. The good thing to know is that ground pounding can stop your flight immediately. So if you think you're going to overshoot, ground pound and stop your movement for the love of God. Oh, Lord knows we don't need that trouble in our lives. Lord knows we don't need that. One more. And because it's an old secret stage, there are two stars in here. Thank you, this one's super easy. I'll just put it this way. There's a reason there's a Wario hat up here. If I had to guess, they'd probably put a Mario hat on the first island for you if you come here as Yoshi or Luigi. I don't need to do this. I just feel like doing it. And because the timer of your cap freezes, you can actually listen to the whole Metal Cap theme here if you want. I don't know why I feel like you need to listen to the whole entire Metal Cap theme, but... Well, if you stay in the canyon, you can actually listen to the whole thing. I love this theme. It's so funky. There we go. Really, all you're missing is just a quiet breakdown before the music reset itself. Still, it's nice to be able to hear the whole song if you really want to. And there we go! That's all that done! Yes! Oh, we did it! We got through that one. So there's only two secret stars left. And we got all the stars of the first 14 levels. And well, there's only the other side in that hole over there. But well, I'll go there next time. In the meantime, you made this far, Mario! Bowser's waiting on the top floor! You must go rescue the princess! I'll stay here and, um, th keep a lookout! But Rico, keep in mind there's a world inside the clock is weird! We jump inside, watch the position of the big head! They have somewhat different things they say when they're not giving you a star. They don't give you any hints of the next level! Then again, why would they? Oh, the next level is rough as hell! By the way, I want this episode here, so, now we're even closer to the end. Come back next time, we will conquer the final main stage! Well, I can probably say that I have beaten everything! And then we take that Bowser for the last time and really prove that we could beat everything. We're not going to be able to beat Bowser next time, are we? Chances are, no. Then why are you hyping it up? It's just foreshadowing, dude. Just accept it. Fuck you!